hello guys it's ruth and welcome back to my channel so for today's video gagawa ulit ako ng one brand makeup tutorial my first one brand makeup tutorial ay yung maybelline um one brand makeup tutorial ko i will link the video down below just in case you're interested to watch it sobrang okay ng mga ginamit ko na products doon and I still use some of them until now, kahit na sobrang tagal na nung video na yun. Pero today, ang gagamitin kong products for the One Brand Makeup Tutorial are Wet and Wild products. So So, ang nakuha kong eyeshadow is the color Wet n Wild Color Icon in Comfort Zone. This is what the palette looks like. Meron siyang dalawang transition shades and also meron siyang eight shades. Um, eight shades na may shimmer. So, this is the new formula and the new look of their old comfort zone palette i believe their old comfort zone palette only has eight shades pero mas malalaki yung pants nila and they're all shimmers wala silang transition shade this transition shade right here gamitin ko tong fluffy brush from bh cosmetics at medyo powdery pero very pigmented yung yung product the formula was very nice. Sobrang pigmented niya and madali naman siyang i-blend it. If you want more color, you just have to be very careful in building it up. So the next one that I will be using is this other transition shade right here. This is a much darker matte transition shade. Pansin ko, unlike the first transition shade na ginamit ko, Medyo mas less yung fallout dito sa darker shade. So, taking this shade right here. Itong dark shade. Although may shimmer siya, gagamitin ko siya just to put depth on my eyes. Papat ko lang siya dito sa may darker area. Tapos, um, ibe-blend ko na siya. cut my crease. Half crease lang. Half cut crease lang ang gagawin natin. And I will be using this concealer from Wet n Wild. It's the Photo Focus Concealer. I really struggle in cutting crease kasi as you can see, I have monolids. Itong um, part ng eye ko na to is parang dalawa yung dalawa yung um, what do you call that? Yung fold ng eyelids ko and then ito isa lang. I will grab this shade right here, yung medyo ito. Yung medyo dark blue. This actually is a duo chromatic eyeshadow. Sobrang ganda. The pigment was so nice and um, imagine hindi ko binasa yung brush ko ng setting spray. So, it's, a, it's as it is. So, take this Morphe by Jaclyn Hill JH38 and I will be dabbing it into the lightest shade right here. Itong shade na to. Tapos yun yung ilalagay ko sa um, cut crease area. I mean sa brow bone area. Just 
So next ay itong eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild Get the Skinny Eyeliner. So Oh my gosh, nagbe-blend yung eyeliner dun sa color ng duo chromatic shade na ginamit natin. Hindi hindi siya maganda. Pero pag tiyaga na natin kasi naumpisan. So next is I'm going to try this um, Wet n Wild Length Mega Length Eyelashes. Ito nakita ko to sa channel ni May Layog. Um, gusto gusto niya to dun sa one brand makeup tutorial niya din. My first product for my face will be this primer. It's the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer. Ito yung pinili ko kasi medyo dry yung skin ko ngayon dahil winter time dito. Pero meron sila yung matte. And yung packaging nun is just black. Parehong pareho, pero matte lang siya. Prime na yung mukha natin. So, it's time to move on with the foundation. Meron akong dalawang foundation dito. It's the Photo, Fo Photo Focus foundation. Medyo madumi na siya. Gamit na gamit kasi. Kasi this one, ang pinagmamalaki ng foundation na to, it's really perfect for um, flash photography. Hindi ako sigurado, pero I think I will take desert beige. I think it's just perfect. Yung ginamit ko na foundation, yung shade na Desert Beige. Kasi feeling ko kung ginamit ko yung Golden Beige, baka magmukha na tayong ulito. Sabi nga ni Maring Camille, baka magmukha kang snow pag sobrang puti. Baka magmukha tayong snow! Baka magmukha tayong snow! So, ang gagawin ko for my concealer, recently ko lang to nalaman na mas maganda pala na pag magko-concealer ka, dito mo lang siya ilagay sa may dito. At nalaman ko to kay R.B. Chanko. If you know, if you didn't know R.B. Chanko, um, makeup artist siya. Mostly ABS, CBN celebrities ang hawak niya. Ito lang. Dito niya lang nilalagay yung concealer. Tapos, ibe-blend niya lang. Make sure you blend the nose really, really well. Ayaw mo naman na literal na nose line ang nakalagay dyan sa ilong mo. Is, ang gagamitin kong pang set ay none other than their Photo Focus um, Powder. And I really love this one. Kasi very thin lang siya, hindi siya thick at Using the lime green shade, itong shade na to, saan ba yan? Ito yung gagamitin ko. Lalagay ko siya sa inner corner ng eyes para mag-pop yung eyes. Yan, ito siya. Hmm, may may shiny hindi gusto. Ang gagamitin ko na blush today is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. Hindi ko alam kung anong shade nito. Pero gusto ko siya kasi medyo peachy. Medyo peachy yung tone niya. Ayan siya. Oh, sobrang powdery, guys. 
Ewan ko kung makikita nyo, pero wow! Grabe ang powder! Tapos, meron ako nitong color icon na bronzer. Si Jacqueline Hill, ang ginagamit niya is yung hourglass na ambient lighting. Pero, wala tayong budget doon. So, gamitin natin to. Sabi, dupe daw to. And, I can see the shade is a dupe. Pero, the formula, I don't think so. Sobrang powdery niya. Mostly napapansin ko sa mga wet and wild products, maganda yung pigmentation, maganda yung formula, except it has a lot of kickback. It's one of my favorite highlighters ever. It is the wet and wild mega glow illuminating palette. So ganito yung tura niya, meron siyang parang iba-ibang shades. Oops. Yung parang may iba-ibang shades siya. Pero you can use everything kung talaga namang gusto mo. Problem ko lang din dito is it's really powdery. Of this one, it's the Mega Contouring Palette. Yan, dalawa siya. Meron siyang I think this is banana shade. Parang banana shade. Tapos, ito yung bronzer niya. Last step is going to be lipsticks. Four shades dito. Ito yung liquid katsu nila. And I really love this. I really love this um, this liquid lipstick. Sobrang mura lang, affordable, and then sobrang ganda ng quality. Mitin ko yung favorite shade ko. Ito yung Give Me Mocha na shade. So, almost done with the look. Ang kulang na lang ay ang ating eyelashes. So, I will be back with the eyelashes. The finished look. This is the final look. Ang masasabi ko lang, it's so amazing na may ganitong brand na nagbibigay or nag, um, nagsisell ng magandang quality na product and magandang price. I really, really love Wet and Wild. Meron lang ako mga thoughts sa other products. So, ang mga products na nagustuhan ko talaga sa Wet and Wild is their um, palette. Sobrang pigmented niya, although merong may mga kickback, pero normal lang sa mga palette yun. Sobrang ganda ng mga shades. One swipe, especially yung mga metallic foiled and shimmery shades. Um, talagang very pigmented siya kahit na hindi mo na siya gamitan ng primer. Wet and Wild Contouring Palette. So, itong palette na to, it's really worth the buy. Kasi um, hindi siya ganun sa sobrang pigmented. Although medyo powdery siya, pero yung pigment niya is tama lang. Hindi siya sobra. Hindi siya sobra when you swipe the brush. Tapos gusto ko din tong illuminating palette nila. Um, sobrang ganda. Very subtle ang glow. Buildable naman siya. You can use it separately or also you can also use it all together. With Katsu. So, itong liquid catsuit nila is very affordable. At the same time, sobrang lightweight and sobrang um, comfortable sa feeling kapag in-swipe mo sa lips mo. I also like the foundation. Ito talaga holy grail ko din to, especially in photos or um, 
picture taking with flash. This is really nice and very perfect. Isa din sa mga nagustuhan ko at nagulat din ako at tama naman pala si Miss May Layog. Um, itong lengthening mascara. Itong mega length mascara ng Wet n Wild. Sobrang ganda niya. It's perfect for everyday. Hindi nagkaklamp yung lashes mo. Isa din sa mga nagustuhan ko tong powder niya. Very, um, very, very subtle. Hindi siya nagkikake. At um, medyo may parang luminosity siya. So, it's very perfect pag gusto mo yung glowy skin. Ito naman yung mga products na ayaw ko. Ito yung Wet n Wild na Mega Slim. Skinny Mascara, I don't think meron siyang nagawa sa under. I mean, sa lower lashes ko. I don't like this. I know this is not waterproof at may amoy siya. Yun yung talagang ayaw ko. May amoy siya na parang medyo chemical yung amoy. Parang yung parang ang tawag doon yung pangtanggal ng buhok sa kilikili. Ganun yung amoy niya. Ito, this is the worst product ever. Itong skinny tip eyeliner, I know this is not waterproof, so that's one of the downside of this product. And also, when I swipe it on top of the duochromatic um, color, hindi siya nagstay as black. Nagblend siya dun sa duochromatic, parang nagmelt yung um, shimmer or yung metallic shade na yun with this eyeliner. At hindi talaga siya black. Sobrang trashy talaga nitong product na to. Itong dalawa na to, ang mga blushes ng Wet n Wild, hindi ko naman sinasabi na ayaw ko sila. I just don't like blushes with shimmers on it. Kasi minsan na-emphasize ng mga shimmers yung large pores mo. So, yun lang guys. Sana nagustuhan nyo yung look na ginawa ko. And sana nagustuhan nyo yung review na ginawa ko. Sobrang na-inspired ako sa pag-review ni May Layug um, sa Wet n Wild product. So, I also tried it. And hopefully, naging successful naman ako. And hopefully, nabigyan ko rin kayo ng um, opinions ko for these products. Pero if you want, you can try them. Maybe it some of the products just doesn't work for me and maybe it will work for you. So, see you again on my next video. I hope mas marami pang videos ako na ma-upload na kagaya ng ganito. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell down below so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. See you guys! Yeah.